heard me say it a dozen times. Most of us here in Ocala love the outdoors. Being able to enjoy the great outdoors year-round is why most of us came to Florida in the first place. When all those folks up north are dealing with snow, ice, and cold, we're down here desperately trying to figure out if it's going to be a short sleeve day or if a tank top's going to be more appropriate. And that means that a whole lot of our homes and our lifestyles in general are geared towards outdoor living. Swimming pools, summer kitchens, huge patio areas for entertaining. Everything that you might want to enjoy our beautiful Florida weather. But unfortunately, we're not the only ones who enjoy the great weather here in Florida. A whole lot of bugs like it here too, especially in summer. <laughs> the heat and humidity make it a really attractive haven for some of those guests that nobody really wants to have visit. And unlike the two-legged variety, you can't just turn out the lights and hide until they decide you're not home. Not that I've ever done that, of course. So what's the best way to avoid an unwanted guest? Just don't invite them in the first place. Or make it a little less attractive for them to stick around. So today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to create your very own bug-free oasis right here in Ocala. And you know what? You might even be adding a little bit of value to your home at the same time. Hi there, and welcome back. I'm Stephanie Frost, an agent with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and I've lived here in the Ocala area for well over 30 years, and Florida for a whole lot longer than that. I'm not going to say how long, because a lady never likes to tell her age, but let's just say I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Florida. Been there, done that. So when most people think about the Florida lifestyle, they think about chilling by the pool or having a drink with friends on the patio in the evening. And that's actually pretty much how we do live here. I mean, you can't beat it. But having swarms of bugs dive bombing your drink isn't really what most people are looking for. It can be great aerobic exercise, but I prefer an air-conditioned gym myself. So if you don't have a screened-in pool area or a screened patio, here's how to keep those nasty flying critters away from your lanai so that you can relax and enjoy the outdoors bug-free. Number one, patio fans are your friend. Mosquitoes, gnats, and other annoying flyers have real issues when it comes to flying into a headwind. So a good patio fan or two can keep your outdoor spaces free from all those pesky critters with just the flip of a switch. And it'll keep you and your guests cooler too, which is an added bonus. But don't make the mistake of going out and buying just any fan you see in the local hardware store. Not even if they're on sale. It's really tempting to think that just because your patio is covered, any type of ceiling fan will work. And let's face it, most indoor fans are just a little bit less expensive than their outdoor cousins. But even under cover, the Florida heat and humidity can really take a toll on your standard indoor fan. I've seen more than a few poor, worn-out patio fans in my day with their blades all coming apart at the seams and hanging down like Spanish moss on a live oak tree. It's not pretty, or effective for that matter. So make sure that the fan you're buying is rated for outdoors. You can pick up some really attractive ones for as little as a hundred bucks at the home improvement store. Tip number two, mulch is sort of your friend, but keep them at a distance. Here in our Florida heat, mulch is pretty much a necessity for any plantings, because the sun will just bake every bit of moisture out of the ground without it. And it makes the landscaping look nice too, which is a plus. But too much mulch provides cover for all kinds of small bugs, including termites. And as it decomposes, it creates heat. So it's going to keep those bugs all warm and toasty all winter, which is probably not the result you're aiming for. So keep any wood mulch at least six inches away from the foundation of your house. And even if you use rock or gravel, keep it in a thin layer, particularly near the foundation. You want the soil near your foundation to be able to stay as dry as possible. Termites and other bugs love moist conditions, so just don't make it easy on them. Now, a lot of people mistakenly think that termites come from those bags of wood mulch that you put down in your garden. So if they don't buy any of that, then they're home free. And I'll admit that a few termites might actually show up that way. But the fact is, termites live underground to begin with. So it's way more likely that they're already in the soil around your house, regardless of what kind of mulch you buy. So keeping the ground warm and moist just gives them a reason to move up from down under and out into the great wide open. But before you panic too much, most every contractor building a home here in Florida treats the ground underneath the slab for termites before even pouring the concrete. So you generally don't have an issue with termites, unless you make things too easy for them to move on in. Tip number three, and this is a big one, no standing water anywhere, ever, unless you've properly treated it, that is. A lot of mosquitoes like to lay their eggs in still water, and even a teaspoon of water can be enough to hatch out hundreds of tiny mosquitoes. So make sure that you clean out your gutters and downspouts so they can't clog up and become a mosquito maternity ward. 
and keep a close eye on any flower pots, buckets, or watering cans that might have water trapped inside. If you've got a pond, a bird bath, or any other decorative water feature, make sure that that water is moving. Now there's also a thing called a mosquito dunk, and it works really well against mosquitoes. It's a hard pellet and sometimes granules that contain a bacteria that keep mosquito larvae from developing into a mosquito. It's harmless to fish and wildlife, so if your bird bath doesn't have circulation and you don't plan on emptying it every day, just throw a mosquito dunk in it every month and you should be home free. But it's not just standing water that you have to worry about. Some mosquitoes lay their eggs on the underside of dead leaves or in other damp places so that they can hatch during the next rainfall. Those eggs can live up to a year or more before hatching. So watch for any piles of leaves or yard debris or any place else that stays really moist and damp all the time. Mosquito eggs can't survive drying out, so rake up those leaves and turn that mulch every so often. And my last tip of the day. When you're planning your garden or doing your landscaping, why not take advantage of what nature gave us and utilize some plants that help deter bugs? It's not only really effective, it'll make your outdoor space look and smell pretty good too. Bugs don't like the smells of either mint or citrus, and come on, who doesn't like the smell of fresh mint or lemon? Mint grows like a weed anyway, and it makes a great ground cover in plantings. And coincidentally, more than a few tasty cocktails require fresh mint to make, so there's an added bonus. A couple other herbs that serve double duty as kitchen spice and mosquito control are basil, lemon thyme, rosemary, and lavender. Lavender is not only pretty, it also helps keep away moths, flies, and fleas, so you get a lot of bang for your buck with that one. And don't forget about citronella. All those mosquito candles, sprays, and torch fuel, all of them use citronella oil to do their magic, and citronella is another plant that's really easy to grow. And if you want a little more color in your garden, try planting geraniums or marigolds, both of which also help keep bugs at bay. So you can see, with just a little careful planning on your part, you too can be out enjoying your patio or pool time without getting a workout swatting at flying pests all night long. So treat yourself a little. Grab a fresh sprig of mint out of the garden and make yourself a nice refreshing drink. But before you do, remember to like and subscribe because I do this every week and you don't want to miss anything.